Good morning. I think I'm safe from Corona today. Better safe than sorry, right? We have to change hydraulic oil. Okay, just kidding. But seriously, if you're at home quarantined with coronavirus, what do you have better to do than to go back and binge watch on Borderview Farm's YouTube channel? Have fun. Enjoy it. Go for it, right? All right. Today's plan, change hydraulic oil in the sprayer, which is a fairly simple task according to the book. We just drain the reservoir and put oil back in it, about 20 gallons. No big deal. We also have to change three hydraulic oil filters. So, uh... We'll get to that. We're going to do those things here this morning. Uh, then I've got a meeting for lunch at 11.30. And then uh, this afternoon we're going to take this thing outside and power wash. So i got to get some buckets around. I've got three empty oil buckets there to put uh, oil in. And I think i got another one that's draining there. So that one's good. I cannot, however, pour that one into our shuttle because it's full. So we're going to cap this. And it needs to get out of here. Um, yeah, 20 gallons before pails, so we should be able to get the sprayer uh, empty and drain what we need to, but um, we're going to need another waste oil container. I think we've got some more shuttles in the back. We'll just probably go get one of those. Uh, yeah, I guess we need to climb underneath the sprayer and figure out where exactly this drain plug is. Well, that one's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to get to, I guess. We might make a mess here. I'm pretty sure it's that one. I'm going to double check in the book, but, uh, yeah, no fun there. Well, that is indeed the hydraulic oil drain plug. Very difficult to get to without spilling oil everywhere. So I set up the best I can here. I use the forklift to kind of hold my buckets up so they're Oil doesn't have to drop so far. In fact, I may raise it just a little bit more. Um, and I've got my breaker bar with the right socket to try and get up there and get the thing out. But I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing some oil here. You guys should enjoy it. I'll set the camera up so you can watch. Maybe I should put my coronavirus max mask on so I don't get oil in my face at least. Okay. Ouch. That hurt. Might need another extension. Ah. Did I get it? Yeah. All right. Well, at least it's loose now. Got some rags. Gonna need them. Could have been worse. Look, smashed my finger. I've still got that spot on my thumb from when I smashed my, or on my finger nail there, from when I smashed my finger working on the combine back in December. Well, at least this drain's relatively slow, so I'll be able to switch pails out here without causing too much of a problem. And it's not splashing, splattering all over the place, so that's a good thing. We'll see how much we get out of there.
It's gonna slow down, right? This is the fourth pail. I need to go get some oil dry. Good news, it's slowing down and we got lots of room left in that pail. So I think we're gonna make it. I got a little oil dry, put that down. We're gonna let that drip and drain for quite some time. In the meantime, uh, we've gotta change the filters. Filters are also underneath here. There are two of them under here, one here, one there. And then, uh, where's the other one? Where's the other one? It's back here, right here. So, uh, yeah, we'll do those. Those shouldn't be too bad to do. Uh, they are going to drip some, but not nearly as much as that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one off. without spilling it all over myself like the last time. I'm not sure if there's a legitimate reason why or not, but in the book, it actually says to take that filter off, then take the other two off, put those ones back on, and then put this one back on. So that's how we're gonna do it. I don't know what it matters, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm ready to try and take one of these off. There's not enough room to get my socket up there. And uh, the little nut they put on the end of there it's kind of stripped off. It was pretty hard to get this wrench on there. At least the first time. Come on. Yeah. I expect oil to come out of this. But maybe not. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, the other one there is the same thing, just has a different nut welded on it because it actually stripped off. All right, I've got both of those off now. I'm gonna clean up these housings, get the new filters, let those drip for a little bit, and then we'll start putting stuff back together. All right, I got these uh, filter housing canisters all cleaned up. Here's one of the new filters. We'll sit that in there. Just like that, and just like everything else that we do with a filter, we've got to lube up the O-ring on there before we slide it on and tighten it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those installed. Okay, those ones are on. Time for this one. Okay, we have got the filters changed. I'm going to let that continue to drip for a little bit. I know you guys can't see it at all. But it is still drill, drizzling just a little tiny bit there. So, um, yeah, we'll let that finish draining. I'm going to make sure I got the cap off on the top so it's not uh, creating a vacuum in there. And uh, we'll come back here in a half hour or so and put the plug back in and then put our oil on the top and we'll be done. All right, time to get oil back in our sprayer. We got to get our drain plug up there. You can see it's still dripping just once every few seconds. No big deal. So, um, there's the plug. I'm going to clean that up get that in there and then we'll carry our five gallon buckets up on the platform up top and dump them in. All right. I got the plug back in there successfully and I didn't even smash any more fingers. There's what we got out of it for oil. I'm not quite sure that that's 20 gallons, but pretty close. More than 15. So the uh, fill on this is right there behind the cab you can right there you can see it so we're gonna need a funnel and uh, carry our buckets up there we should be able to just pour them straight in though we don't have to use our pump which is good okay let's see if we can pour our oil in there without spilling it everywhere
One of the chances I could actually take the lid off of this thing and just pour it instead of using a little spout. It would be faster. Probably quite a bit messier too. Bad news guys, so I was pouring that pail of oil in up there and when I got down towards the end of the pail I saw a white glob come out and go straight into the tank. That's water. Uh, somehow or another that pail, either because it's been sitting there for who knows how long and got enough condensation in it, has got some water in it somehow, some way. I don't really know what caused it but um, since it was the first pail that I put in, and I don't know how much I got in there, but I don't think it was a lot, but uh, it's, it's just going to plug up filters. And so we're going to drain that oil back out. Um, probably just discard it. And yeah, uh, it is what it is. I'd rather lose the uh, $70 oil than have to replace all them filters two or three times to get it worked out of the system or have any kind of wheel motors or hydraulic failures on anything else. So since I haven't run it yet, I haven't gotten anything more than just that pail in, we're gonna drain it. Well, it turns out the second time you do it in a day, um, you don't make as big of a mess, so that was good. But uh, yeah, got a pail of oil out of there. I did see some white stuff come out. It's in the bottom of that pail. Maybe I'll show it to you if I get a chance here when we dump that pail out. Um, but you can see, here's the plug. Oh, can you guys see in there? Here. There's some of it. No good. Oh, I'm glad we got it out of there and drained it. And fortunately, I have enough oil to refill it even without that one pail. So good job by me getting an extra pail yesterday. Okay, I put that plug back in and uh, it didn't need to drain as long this time because uh, water is heavier than oil and so it settles to the bottom so once I had that out it was pretty well just clean oil coming out anyway um, then I was pouring it out Can you guys see it see that white stuff floating in there yeah we got some big old globs of water no good that's why we drained it. We don't want that in our hydraulic system on the sprayer. So I'm um, glad I did that and uh, we'll just trash all that oil. Fortunately, I've got, uh, I've got a full pail up there, got a full pail right here and two over there that are sealed. There should not be any water in those. So we're, we're in good shape. Now let's try and pour that in there again and then uh, we'll have this done. And I gotta hurry because we got about 10 minutes. We gotta leave for our lunch meeting. To answer my earlier question, yes, yes, you can take the top off of them and pour them in there and it's a lot faster and simpler and easier. All right, I've got oil in the sight gauge, which means it's full. We'll have to run it and check the oil again before we uh, consider ourselves completely done with it, but we should be good for to at least run it around and start everything up. All right, so my plan for this afternoon is still to wash this thing outside i uh, got a little cleaning up i need to do in here with all that oil and stuff first but uh we gotta go dad and i are late for our meeting so i'm gonna head to that and lunch and uh, we'll see you guys after lunch okay i am back from lunch i was cleaning up a little bit i moved oil pails over there got them off of the rail of the sprayer and stuff and got stuff back so we can pull the sprayer outside so i'm going to go ahead and do that and we're gonna go out and power wash I have a bad feeling about this taking a long time to power wash the sprayer. It's not going to be a simple, quick half hour job like some of those tractors have been. And I'm really not looking forward to it, but uh, it needs to be done. So we'll do as good a job as I can do here, I guess. And uh, we'll see how far we make it. We'll see what it looks like when we're done. Uh, I'm guessing that after today, we'll still need to use the hose and clean up some stuff in the shop, but uh, at least we'll get the heavy stuff off and hopefully most of the mud off the bottom, which is really where the worst of it is. So. Uh, yeah, let's take the sprayer out. I think I'm going to attempt to unfold the booms at least a little bit. Should be able to, if I can remember how. 
Let's see. Okay. Oh, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want them tips going over. I just want it to go the first little bit. Mm, let's see. There, I got it. I need to take it out of the auto mode. Pull ahead a little more because I don't know if it's going to hit that pole or not. Okay. I'm gonna leave it up high enough that I can still walk under it. And we'll call that good. All right. Well, that opens it up so we can get the stuff to wash it a little bit better. And we should be good. I'll get the power washer going here. Get my uh, rain suit on so I don't get soaked. All right, well, here we go. I've done enough time lapses of me washing stuff. I'm not gonna make one today, you guys have seen it. Plus I think I got enough in this video to make it long enough that I don't need that footage. So, uh, yeah, let's go wash. I'm tired. Oh man, this thing is big. There are lots of places for dirt to hide, especially underneath. I got a fair amount off. Um, I'm fairly happy with it. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for out here. I'll probably mess around with a hose, like I said, tomorrow and foam it or something in the shop so we can get some of the stuff that uh, needs a hit with some soap. And uh, then we'll call it good enough. So right now I'm going to fold the boom up, put it back in the shop. And then uh, the other thing that I wanted to do yet, well, I still got a little bit of time. Uh, I want to pull these fenders out and these uh, wheel motor covers because those are dirty and they need washed, preferably outside with a power washer. So I got some time, so I'm going to do that. But first, I'm going to bring the sprayer back in here. Whew, now I'm tired. But I got these cleaned up decently, well, I guess. And the sprayer doesn't look too bad, so I'll kind of walk around and take a look and see what I missed here. And we'll worry about it tomorrow, I think. But it's a lot better than it was. I do know that. Let's look underneath here. Yeah, see, you can actually tell what color some of that stuff is. And it's not mud and it's not oil. So, looks a lot better. All right, guys. Um, I'm sore now. It's been, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes since I got done power washing and I hurt. That's not good, that means I'm getting old. Anyway, uh, my wife and I have a meeting tonight and since I successfully covered myself in oil this morning and dirt and water and crap from the power washer this afternoon, I'm gonna go home and get cleaned up before I've gotta go to that. So that's gonna be the end of today's video. Um, we're getting close to done with the sprayer. So basically I'm gonna finish cleaning, washing just a little bit tomorrow. We need to clean the cab out, wash the windows, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then put these fenders and pieces all back on, which won't take very much. Uh, also need to check air pressure in our tires that we just put on. Uh, they don't look bad, but we just need to double check that uh, and then grease it. And I'm gonna have my part of it done at least. So my dad does most of the spraying, like I've said before, so it's his job to make sure that the pump and solution tank and the boom and all that stuff and nozzles are ready to go. I don't mess with that. I'm just making sure the sprayer is operational. So uh, that's my plan for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you haven't already, leave me feedback on which one of my logos that you like. Voting is going to end pretty soon for that. Uh, let's see, what's today? Today is 
Thursday, so tomorrow this video is coming out on Friday. End of today or maybe first thing Saturday morning by, I don't know what time it is, 10 o'clock my poll on Facebook closes. Go check that out and vote if you haven't already or leave me some comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys again tomorrow, most likely. One more day this week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't want to forget my coronavirus protection. One more update. Check out the progress on the floor here. Looks pretty good.